So, you haven't paid the rent for a few months and you're scared you might be evicted. But did you know that under Florida law, your landlord is required to use the court process to evict you? This video explains the right way and the wrong way to evict a tenant under Florida law and what tenants can do when their landlord ignores the law. The right way for a landlord to evict a tenant is by using the court process. The court process begins with a notice from the landlord to the tenant telling the tenant they have to move out by a certain date. If the tenant does not move out by the date on the notice, the landlord must file a lawsuit for eviction at the county courthouse. After the landlord files a lawsuit for eviction, it is up to a judge to decide whether to enter a final judgment of eviction against the tenant. After a judge has entered a final judgment of eviction, the sheriff will post a 24 hour notice on the tenant's door telling the tenant they must move out within 24 hours. This 24 hour notice is also called a writ of possession and it is the last step in the court process to evict the tenant. After the 24 hours have passed, the sheriff will return to the home to make sure the tenants are out and the locks are changed. The landlord must use this court process even when the landlord has good reasons for wanting the tenant to move out. So if you haven't paid your rent or your lease has expired or you violated the terms of your lease, your landlord is still required to use the court process to evict you. So what about landlords that do things the wrong way? The court process takes time and costs money. So some landlords take things into their own hands and try to force the tenant to move out by changing the locks or cutting off the electricity or cutting off the water. These self-help eviction methods are prohibited by Florida Statute 8367. Go ahead and Google it. You will see that Florida Statute 8367 imposes harsh penalties on landlords that do things the wrong way. The law states that a landlord cannot directly or indirectly interfere with utility services, including, but not limited to, water, heat, light, electricity, gas, elevators, garbage collection, or refrigeration. In addition, the landlord cannot change the locks or do anything else that interferes with the tenant's ability to access the unit. If the landlord violates the law, the landlord can be ordered to pay the tenant three times the monthly rent for each violation or more if the tenant can prove that their damages exceed that amount. What should you do if your landlord does things the wrong way? First, if you feel comfortable doing so, you should talk to your landlord about Florida Statute 8367 and the harsh penalties it imposes on landlords that ignore the law. Second, if you feel comfortable doing so, you can call the police. The police may be willing to talk to your landlord about Florida Statute 8367 and explain that the landlord is required to use the court process to evict you. If possible, you should try to get a copy of the police report documenting exactly what the landlord did, as this may be helpful if you end up in court. Third, you should get legal advice. By getting legal advice, you will learn how to file a small claims lawsuit against your landlord in county court. By filing a lawsuit, you can get a judge to order your landlord to pay you for each violation of Florida Statute 8367. In addition, you can file an emergency motion 
asking the judge to order your landlord to correct the problem immediately. For example, you can get the judge to order your landlord to let you back in the unit if the landlord locked you out. Another option is to contact your local building and code enforcement agency. Just call 311 and they will connect you to a neighborhood compliance officer that can schedule an inspection of the unit. The inspector can issue a notice of violation to your landlord imposing a fine and stating a deadline by which the landlord must correct the problem. If possible, you should try to get a copy of the inspector's report as this may be helpful if you end up in court. Finally, in cases where the landlord has illegally cut off the electricity or the water, you can try to restore the services on your own. If you contact the utility service provider, you can ask them to open a new account in your name and restore service. This may not always work, but sometimes the utility service provider is willing to work with the tenant to open a new account and restore service. The most important thing is to take action right away. By getting good legal advice at the beginning of the problem, you can make a big difference in the outcome of your case. We encourage you to contact Legal Services of Greater Miami. Legal Services of Greater Miami provides free legal assistance to low-income tenants in both Miami-Dade and Monroe counties. All of our services are free, so don't hesitate to call. In addition, you should visit our website, which has helpful information about landlord-tenant laws, how to get legal assistance, and other community service providers that may be helpful during these difficult times. Thanks very much for watching and take care.